What's going on guys? Alex here with 814 ADC and today I'm ready to do my full review on the Spyderco Spidey Chef. Uh, this is the third and final knife review that I have to do from my Christmas haul. Um, this was another uh, present from my parents, um, so shout out to mom and dad, thank you. Um, but yeah, this specific knife is the Knife Joy exclusive uh, with these uh, blue titanium scales, which is really nice. And then you have blacked out hardware. Um, it's funny, I just did, if you guys saw my last review um, from probably yesterday or the day before, uh, whenever this post, I did the Quiet Carry Chase ES, which is a washer LC200N knife, also from Christmas. And now I'm doing the Spidey Chef, which is a washer and LC200N knife from Christmas. Um, it's funny how reviews and stuff like that work itself out like that, um, but it's just, just how the order fell. Um, so it's kind of interesting I'm banging out my two um, fully rust-proof knives in a row. So um, but yeah, like I said, this is a Knife Joy exclusive. Um, I will leave a link to the knife down below if you guys are interested. Uh, I was going back and forth on which one I wanted, this one or the standard um, plain tie one, but I thought the blue looked really nice. Uh, and I don't know, I don't think you get the blacked out hardware with the standard one. I think it's just uh, normal gray or titanium hardware. Um, and I really like the black clip. You guys can see it has a loop over style um, wire deep carry clip that Spyderco uses a lot. And I, I love their clips. Um, but just a really cool variant. So I guess while we're talking about materials, um, of course, this is in, like I've said before, LC200N. There is the Spyderco logo. And this is, again, another um, Marcin Sleesh, I believe. Marcin, Marcin Sleesh design. Um, he's designed the Bowie. I believe he has designed the, the Techno and the Techno 2. Um, I think he's designed the Slayback as well. Slayback? Slayback. One of, I forget, Slayback or Swayback, one of the two. Um, he has a lot of the nicer, you know, titanium, uh, Tai Ching, Tai Wong, um, Spyderco models. Um, he's a very, very famous designer. You guys all know who I'm talking about. I believe his name is Marcin Sleesh. Um, and that is his little um, designer mark there, which is cool. Very beautiful, you know, full belly blade, flat grind. Comes down to a pretty thin edge. Um, this is, of course, a satin. Uh, blade satin grind one thing that i do have a gripe with is i like the satin um, but if for after a while from fidgeting with it it gets kind of like um you can see the fingerprints very easily and it gets kind of like a milky residue almost around the, the uh the hole so you just have to wipe it more than most knives which is okay because um, again I, I love the way the, the belt satin looks so you guys can see the grind lines if you can see the right angle you guys can see it right there a little bit um but this is, you know, primarily designed as sort of a kitchen folder. Um, it's very, which we'll talk about ergos, but it's very comfortable in hand. You have a nice big belly um, coming down for, for chopping purposes. Um, but again, we'll talk about that in the ergonomics. Uh, this knife is on washers. It's a frame lock. Uh, you have some black standoffs back here. You do have a pivot hole and it is lefty carry as well. So you can switch the, the wire clip. Um, as internal milling goes, there is none. Um, these are full slabs of titanium, which is okay. It doesn't bother me. Um, this knife is pretty, you know, for, for it being a decent sized folder and size, it's pretty lightweight. Um, I have the knife joy page, uh, pulled up here. So cutting edge is 3.31 inches. So a little over three and a half or three and a quarter inches. <clears throat> um, overall length is 7.78. So it's, it's a pretty decent sized knife from an overall standpoint. Uh, spec standpoint full flat blade grind um, this is a sheep's foot style but again you have that big belly down here for for kitchen tasks uh, weight is 3.78 ounces so it's very very lightweight very um, good in the hand for um, edc tasks yeah and that's all for uh, material so um, again it's on washers no internal milling um, i think i i think i touched on everything so um, came with a pretty good edge which sometimes spider coats hit or miss on um, but yeah, next up, we're going to talk about action. And of course you have the standard Spidey hole that everybody knows and loves. Um, so starting out with a thumb flick, which is cool because you have the full hole, um, cut out over here, which is really, really cool. You guys can see it's, it's milled right along the hole perfectly. And then on this side, you have the frame lock that covers up part of the hole. Um, so it's a little bit to get used to from a middle finger flick standpoint, or if you're flicking it lefty, um, you have to, you know, change it up a little bit. Um, but from a whole 
or from a whole, from a thumb flick standpoint, fires out. You can slow roll it very nicely. Uh, I'm not a huge slow roller on knives, um, but for this, it just works just because of, you know, the washers. It's kind of a nice hydraulic feeling, just whoop, right out into an open position. Um, but thumb flick, you do have to get a little bit used to it because the way my thumb sort of rests, you're right on the corner, uh, the front corner of the hole or the frame right there, excuse me. Um, so you kind of have to, instead of pushing up with it, which you can do, um, it's easier to kind of push like on an angle, not out, but not up. It kind of like it splits the difference um, and it fires right out of there, you know, uh, has a nice strong detent. Strong is, you know, a very um, opinion based thing nowadays, especially with detents. Someone might think it's, you know, you could, you could fail it easily like so, um, but as long as you, you know, pick it up and give it enough gas, it's gonna fly right out of there. Uh, now for the middle finger flick, as long as you get the the meat of the top of your finger in there, um, it's gonna fly right out. It's just a little bit of a learning curve to get used to of how this knife operates and how, you know, the frame lock covers part of the hole, um, but as long as you get enough in there to fly it out, you guys can hear it has a nice ting to it when it comes out. Not a ting, but a nice thwack, I guess. Um, a ting would be higher pitch, but uh, yeah, flies right out of there. Now for lefty, um, so for flicking an open lefty as a righty, um, it's easy. You know, you just gotta same thing with the middle finger. Um, flick on the right hand as long as you get the the meat of your thumb down into the hole right here. Um, you know, it'll fly right out of there. And the middle finger flick as a lefty, or middle finger flicking at lefty as a righty is easy. You just gotta you know find enough space in there, flies right out. Um, now for closing, this is a washer knife, um, of course, so you're not going to have a super, you know, drop shot guillotine action, um, but there is just a hair of blade play, um, so there is a little bit noticeable, but I mean, you really have to kind of torque down on it, like you're not going to notice it just from, uh, you know, doing this and uh, fidgeting with it and stuff like that, it's not going to feel loose, it's not going to rattle or anything like that, um, but as you guys can see, this has a pretty dang good action for a washer. Um, I love that it drops to my nail right from the get-go. Um, it's just super smooth. And the nice thing about washer knives is the more the washers get worn in, the more it kind of polishes them. Um, granted, you can take out washers and you can get them fully polished, which I've thought about doing, um, but I definitely don't know how to do it myself. So I would have to you know, talk to someone about it or have them sent somewhere. Uh, but the more you use a knife, the more you open and close it, the smoother the washers get. So over time, this is gonna become, you know, a much smoother closing action. Um, but it's already pretty dang smooth in my opinion. It's nice because it just drops to your nail. That time it was slow. Um, drops to your nail. And then I typically, a lot of times I hold it like this and I just take my thumb and bang it closed. Or, you know, you can, you can do the dropity drop drop, but uh, for some reason on this knife, I don't do that a ton. I typically do, because again, it just drops to your nail. I just take my thumb and bang it closed. Um, but for, for overall, you know, action, uh, for, for closing action on a washer knife, this is pretty dang good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It was really from the factory. Um, it was pretty gritty. It was pretty, you know, tight to open. Uh, so I did take it apart, clean it up, and uh, added a little bit of KPL to it. I do have the centering pretty much dead on, which is nice. Uh, and again, you do have a smidge of blade play, uh, but not enough to be noticeable, not enough to, you know, alter the, the use of the knife at all. Um, but it makes the drop shuttiness a little bit better. And the closing action just a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with how it, how it feels overall. My camera up close. All right. Sorry about that, guys. My, uh, I follow here on my watch, but my app on the watch closed. I was hoping my footage wasn't gone, uh, but we're still going strong. So um, yeah, action, thumb flick is good. Middle finger flick is good. Closing action, bam, bam, good. And then slow roll is good. So action is, I'm very impressed. I'm very happy with how this knife operates for me. Um, but next up is Ergos. And this knife is really, really comfortable. Um, you know, as I've stated probably a few times by now, this is designed as sort of a, a, uh, a folding kitchen knife. Um, so you have, again, a very nice big belly down here. You have a very, you know, it's, it's designed to be comfortable. I don't want to talk to Siri. 
It's designed to be very comfortable in hand. Uh, you have no jimping at all. You have no sharp edges. You do have a, a nice natural restriction point right here. And I just, if this thing gets locked into my hand, um, I have plenty of blade or plenty of handle left here for, um, you know, my hand. So I can, you know, if I don't feel like being, you know, sort of locked in like this, I can kind of give myself a little bit more room. It's still very comfortable. Um, but yeah, this thing is just really comfortable in hand. You, you know, just looking at it, it looks kind of goofy. It looks kind of, you know, interesting. Um, which I wanted to, you know, touch on too. This knife has been around for a while, so it was kind of a, a late bloomer for me. Like, it, 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 you know, I always knew about it, but, you know, recently, as of a couple months ago, I kept thinking, like, man, that this Petty Chef looks really cool. Um, I wanted to try it out, and then eventually, you know, I, it was a knife that I wanted enough to toss on my Christmas list, and, you know, here it is in my collection. Uh, and I'm super glad I did because I really like this knife. Um, but, yeah, Ergos are just super comfortable. Uh, it just fits your hand so well, just with this, you know, the sweeping back design it kind of tapers off. So it goes up, 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 and then it tapers here and kind of goes flat or straight back, flat back, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, um, you, again, this is kind of made for like chopping as I'm trying to do like a, ooh, a whale flying through the ocean or something through the ocean here. Um, but very comfortable, you know, very ergonomic, uh, just no hot spots. The wire clip always works really, really well from an Argo standpoint. Um, no complaints at all there. Uh, just a really well, you know, orchestrated design, a really well orchestrated ergonomic experience, you know, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, I've heard, I've heard that from other people as well, that you know, this is a very, very comfortable knife to hold and operate. Um, and, you know, I completely agree. So uh, action ergos. Next up is carry. And for this being a pretty decent sized knife, uh, according to the website, it only weighs 3.78 ounces. Um, so it is a sub four ounce knife, which is really nice. Um, you know, it's very, it's a very simple design. You have basically two slabs of titanium, you know, there's no internal milling, um, you know, washers, pot clip and the blade. So it's, it's very simple. You don't have a whole lot going on in there. There's no liners or anything like that. Um, which is nice cause it, you know, it keeps the weight down for, for a knife like this. Uh, but overall, you know, no complaints. It carries very, very well in the pocket. Uh, I primarily carry this in my front right pocket of my jeans. I think I have tossed this, tossed this in pocket in you know, my gym shorts, just being around the house doing different things. Um, but all in all, I cannot complain at all. It sits in the pocket well. It does have, you know, it sticks out a little bit um, just due to how the, the handle was shaped. Um, but when you have it in pocket, um, you know, sort of carries... It's like the way you have it, it kind of sticks into the pocket because you drop it in like this uh, and it kind of pushes itself back in the pocket. Um, but you have no flipper tab. You have no jimping, um, you know, nothing sharp. This is nicely smooth uh, and chamfered edges. Um, if you happen to be putting your hand down in your pockets to grab anything, uh, you know, nothing at all is going to be catching you or anything like that. Um, the titanium is smooth. Just a really good carry um, for being, you know, what I would consider a medium sized knife. Um, just all in all, it carries super duper well. So um, no complaints at all from me there. But uh, that leads me to my final category of price point and what I recommend this knife. So price point, according to Knife Joy's website, was $259.95. So $260 bucks for this. Um, I think that's less than what the um, standardized version of this, which is the plain tie, uh, is going for. I think it goes for like $270. Um, I could be wrong on that, but that's what I think I've seen before. Uh, and I think my parents got this on, I think they did a Black Friday sale. So I want to say they might have gotten this for, I think it was like $215. Um, I, for some reason, I remember that because my mom asked me, like I made the list before then. And she's like, hey, are there any sales going on? Because uh, she typically does because she knows that I pay attention to all that stuff. And it's easier for me to tell her than her or than for her to go look and stuff like that. Um, and at the time, this was the only knife that I had on my list that was on sale. Uh, so that's, I think is, that's why I think that they got the discount because she probably went and bought it then. Um, but I want to say it was around 215 or 220. Uh, but for the standardized price of 260, you know, I think it's, that's an okay price. I'm not like blown away by it. Um, you know, you're getting good materials. You know, you're getting LC200N, uh, titanium, a nice blue anno uh, finish, black hardware with a deep carry wire pot clip. Um, so, you know, would I pay 260? Probably, um, but I think maybe this would maybe be, you know, closer. Maybe a sub 250 knife would be a little bit more suited for it. Maybe 225, because um, it's not like it's a you know huge 
hard to construct knife. It's very simple at its core. Um, and I know you're getting a sleash design, which probably goes into uh, effect a little bit when it comes to pricing, because uh, all his knives seem to be a little bit more expensive. Um, but don't get me wrong, this is a very well-constructed knife. Um, you know, it's very comfortable in hand. The ergos are great. Uh, materials are good. You know, fit and finish and quality, uh, especially from the Taichung uh, Taiwan factory for Spyderco. Most of them come out very, very well. The ones that I've handled at least have. Um, so, you know, I have no gripe at that price point. Um, but I do think maybe this is a little bit suited for, uh, I feel like it could be a little bit cheaper, but I would pay 260 um, you know, for it, but, uh, I feel like it could be a little bit cheaper. So I guess I do have a little bit of a gripe, um, but I do understand a little bit, I guess, with the, you know, the design and, you know, coming from, a uh, overseas, I guess, premier factory for spider code that all their stuff is a little bit more expensive. Um, but again, I think it could be maybe between two, 225 and 250 would be a better price point. Um, so I guess that means if my parents, they get this on the price that I think they did around 215 or 220, that's a great price for it. Um, but I can still absolutely recommend it. I think it's a, a standard, um, not a standard spider co it's, it's kind of a, not a legendary spider co, but it's, it's, you know, up there with like the PM two and the pair of three and some designs like that as being household designs as everybody knows them, everybody loves them. Um, and I'm glad that I have it in the collection. I definitely love it. Um, it's always nice having fully rust proof knives. Uh, and this is just very, you know, if I take this on a camping trip, this thing would be great for the kitchen. Um, you know, just, just a nice knife to have around. Uh, and it excels at anything that I do EDC wise. Um, you know, uh, one thing I forgot to mention earlier in the ergos is you kind of have, if you guys can see there, a little tapered off area, um, right up towards the blade. And that is for, uh, pinch grips because you, you can do a lot of, you know, um, slicing or peeling, um, in the kitchen with that. But you can also do, you know, ripping open through Amazon packages, letters, anything like that. Um, from an EDC standpoint, uh, it just adds a little bit more comfort. And it's, uh, I really like that. So I forgot to mention it to you earlier in the Ergo's apartment. Um, but I saw it and I didn't want to forget about it. So um, let me know down below in the description or in the description, in the comments. Um, do you guys have a Spidey Chef? If you do, you know, what are your thoughts on it? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Um, I'd love to hear it. I was considering... Uh, I still am considering getting this modded. I found a guy on Instagram that makes takes the blade and makes like a harpoon style, uh, and then he takes and adds jimping right here, and it makes he makes it a front flipper, um, and it looks really good um, from an aesthetic standpoint and from a fidget factor standpoint. Um, it just you know adds a little bit more character to the knife, adds it you know uh, instead of just the hole, you would have the uh, front flipper. Um, just you know thinking about it, um, I've you know kind of had it in my head before I even got the, the knife for Christmas. Um, so eventually I might do that if I want to spruce the knife up a little bit, but, uh, as it stands, I really enjoy this knife. Um, so yeah, that was my full review on the spider code knives, Spidey chef, specifically the knife joy exclusive. I uh, really, really enjoyed this one. Really glad I have it in the collection. Um, but yeah, let me know down below in the comments, what are your guys thoughts on this knife? Um, you know, it's been around for a little while, so I know it's kind of a, uh, a heritage design, but, uh, let me know. So, um, but I'm going to leave a link down below if you guys want to check out the Knife Joy website. Also linked down below in the description or in the comment will be, uh, excuse me, the pin comment will be uh, Blue Creek Knives and Barnscraft Designs. Use code 814EDC for 10% off of your purchase at Blue Creek Knives and 15% off of your purchase at uh, Barnscraft Designs. But uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap this up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. If you guys are not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. Uh, the March to a thousand is on. We're hoping to get there sometime, you know, this year. Uh, that's my goal for the year is to get to a thousand, but uh, hopefully we're able to do it. But uh, yeah, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.